Kent Cam Attendance is a next-gen touchless attendance system based on facial recognition and uses artificial intelligence-based computer vision to capture and recognize the face of an employee. It is managed via a secure cloud application that stores employee records and photos and can be seamlessly integrated with existing HRMS. Firstly, we will see what's there in the box. We have wall-mounted stand, one unit, tablet, one unit, lockable frame, one unit, USB cable, one meter, one unit, and three meters, one unit, power adapter, one unit, spanner, one unit, keys, two units, screw, five units, and plastic insert, five units, foam pads, four units, small screw, five units, and nut, five units, drill sticker, one unit, SIM ejector pin, one unit. Now let us start the installation process. Step one, place the drill sticker on the wall where Kent Cam attendance device is to be installed such that dotted line in the center is at the recommended height of 1100 millimeters from the ground level. Step two, drill four holes in the wall using a drill machine, six millimeter, as per the recommended locations on the drill sticker. Step three, put the plastic inserts into the four holes using a hammer. Step four, take out the plastic covers from both sides of the base of the wall mounted stand. Step five, open the nut using the spanner and dismantle the entire base of the stand. Step six, tighten the base of the stand with the help of screws. Step seven, take the base of the lockable frame and attach it to the top part of the wall mounted stand using the four small screws and nuts. Step eight, fix the top of the stand to its base using two plastic washers on both sides of the base on the inside and then a long screw is passed through the hole present in the wall mounted stand. Step 9. Tighten the long screw using the spanner by putting a steel washer and a nut on the other side. Two things to be kept in mind now. A. Long screw enters the hole from the circular side which is opposite to the D-shaped hole. B. Base of the lockable frame gets fixed to the wall such that the push lock is pointing towards the top side. Step 10. Fix the plastic covers to both sides of the stand's base for concealing the screws and fixtures. Step 11. Change the orientation of the frame such that it is directly facing the person if needed. Step 12. Foam pads, double-sided, are pasted on four corners at the back of the tablet for right fitting inside the frame. Step 13. Connect the micro USB side of the charging USB cable to the tablet by passing through the slot provided at the bottom of the frame's base. Keep in mind that the charging USB cable can pass through the left or right sided slot at the bottom of the frame's base depending upon the availability of power socket on either side. Step 14. Tablet is then placed inside the frame's base such that the camera of the tablet is pointing towards the top direction in alignment with the lock. Step 15. Fix the top of the frame onto the base of the frame. The top of the frame has wings towards the bottom which goes into the slot present in the base of the frame. Step 16. Push the lock button down for locking the top and the base of the frame to each other. Step 17. Connect the other side of the USB cable to the power adapter. 
Step 18. Plug the power adapter into the electrical socket and press the switch on. Step 19. Push the power button of the tablet through the opening provided on the right side of the frame and the tablet gets switched on. Unlock the screen by swiping up. Step 20. Kent Cam Attendance application gets automatically launched on the tablet and then select Continue. Step 21. Now four permission to access pop-ups come one after another. Select Allow button every time to give permissions to the application. Step 22. Enter 000 000 as the device pin. Step 23. Go to the application setting and click on Connectivity. Then choose your preferred network mode, LAN, 4G or Wi-Fi for connecting to internet. Step 24. Press back button to come back to the login screen. Step 25. Fill up the email ID and password on the login screen and press the login button. Note, if you are not the device admin, then contact your admin for email ID and password. Step 26. Device goes through the following steps. Step 1. Wait while fetching the master data. Step 2. Waiting for license validation. Step 3. Wait while facial data is under processing. Note, if the data count is zero, then please make sure that the employee details are mapped in the cloud app. Step 27. Tablet application comes to the recognition mode and attendance gets marked successfully. With this step, we have successfully completed the installation of Kent Cam attendance device. Here, we had used Wi-Fi for connecting the device to the cloud app. Optionally, we can also use LAN or 4G connectivity with Kent Cam attendance device. In the second part of the setup, let us look at how to connect to LAN using optional accessory. For setting up, we need the following items in addition to those mentioned earlier in the first part. Number one, portable USB to Ethernet adapter. It has a USB mail and a RJ45 port. Number two, two-in-one micro USB Y splitter cable. It is a micro USB male to USB female OTG with power enhancing USB port and has USB A female, micro USB B male, micro USB B female, and number three, Ethernet cable or LAN wire. Step one, take the micro USB male and micro USB female side of the two-in-one micro USB Y splitter cable and pass it through the left-sided slot provided at the bottom of the frame's base. Step 2. Take the micro USB side of the charging USB cable and pass it through the right-sided slot provided at the bottom of the frame's base. Step 3. Connect the micro USB side of the charging USB cable to the micro USB B female of the 2-in-1 micro USB Y splitter cable and tuck it neatly in the bottom part of the frame's base. Step 4. Connect the micro USB B male of the 2-in-1 micro USB Y splitter cable to the tablet and then place it in the frame's base such that the camera of the tablet is pointing towards the top direction in alignment with the lock. Step 5. Fix the top of the frame onto the base of the frame. The top of the frame has wings towards the bottom, which goes into the slot present in the base of the frame. Step 6. Push the lock button down for locking the top and the base of the frame to each other. Keep in mind that a set of keys is provided which can be used to unlock the frame and take out the tablet as and when required. Align the protruding pin in the key 
to the groove present in the lock and rotate 360 degrees in clockwise direction. The device will get unlocked and the tablet can be taken out. Step 7. Connect the USB side of the portable USB to Ethernet adapter to the USB-A female of the 2-in-1 micro USB Y splitter cable. Step 8. Connect the RJ45 connector of the Ethernet cable or LAN wire to the RJ45 port of the portable USB to Ethernet adapter. Step 9. Connect the other RJ45 connector of the Ethernet cable or LAN wire to the LAN cable socket in wall. Repeat step 17 to step 27 as covered earlier in the first part of the setup. Now we have completed the installation of Kent Cam attendance with LAN connectivity. Lastly, we will complete the third part of the setup where connectivity is through the 4G SIM card. Let us start the installation process. Step 1. Take the SIM ejector pin, insert it inside the ejected pin hole and press gently. Step 2. Pull the SIM card tray so that it comes out fully. Step 3. Take a nano SIM card and place it in the SIM card tray so that it fits nicely. Note, the cut mark on the SIM card should be aligned in such a manner that the plastic side of the SIM faces upwards and it matches the cut mark in the tray. Step 4. Put the SIM card tray back in the slot and push it gently inside. Repeat step 13 to step 27 as covered earlier in the first part of the setup. Now we have completed the installation of Kent Cam attendance with 4G SIM. Now I will leave you to explore the wonderful Kent Cam attendance device further. Goodbye.